So imagine this, imagine doing a call at one in the morning, you get called to a local bar and there's a hookah bar slash bar that sells alcohol and you see a bunch of people outside standing around this guy. They're waving you down, trying to get your attention to pull over because the person that they call 911 for is right in front of them. That was a call I was just recently on and check it out. What I want to share with you is this. As soon as we came off the ambulance, I run to the back, I pull out the stretcher and the stretcher, we had all the bags, the oxygen bag, the monitor, and the response bag. I pull it out, I bring it to the person. I go ahead and assess the situation. As I'm assessing the situation, my stupid ass partner asks me, whoa, whoa, you're not gonna need all that. What'd you bring all that for? And in front of everybody, I asked them, yo, I'd rather need it and have it then need it and not have it then as soon as we start unloading the the things from the stretcher putting on the floor bringing the stretcher down to the person's level i whispered to him i told them around the lights and the sirens flashing around the people shouting the drunk people at that in the bronx aggressive people with a heavy new york accent i told them yo listen these are the type of calls you come on unprepared, lackadaisy, thinking shit is sweet when motherfuckers will jump you and you gotta call a 1013 cause your stupid ass didn't show enough compassion and patient advocacy. What would you rather do? Not carry the bags and show up unprepared? Or would you rather carry the bags, show up prepared, look professional, look like you give a fuck and not need them? The whole point was, he's just a lazy piece of shit who didn't want to carry his bags. So the reason why I share this with you is, when you're doing the right thing, when you're giving prudent suggestions, then just do it your damn self. You don't worry about them. I took the stretcher out, I put the bags back in the bus myself, and I basically did everything by myself with very little help. So I say that to say this, when you show up to a job, whether it's drunk people, sober people, whether there's cameras recording you or not, be a patient advocate. Be ready and stay ready so you don't have to get ready. What if this person would have been in cardiac arrest? Now we gotta get off the ambulance, go check him out, make sure he's fine or make sure he's not fine, find out he's in cardiac arrest and then run back to the ambulance when we could have just brought everything with us? Makes no damn sense. But thank God for these platforms that it allows me to share this with you and hopefully you can avoid that mistake. I hope this helps. Peace.